Forbes inspired image in Adobe Photoshop using the shape tool, opacity and the layers palette. As you can see we're going to be looking at a series of work called You Were There, We Were All There. And as I scroll down you're going to be able to see how she's found and used holiday snapshots and sort of obscured the um, image by creating geometric shapes. Probably within Photoshop I'm guessing but that's what we're going to be using just to create some sort of digital collage. I really like how she's used shape and colour to mask and crop certain areas of the image and then perhaps how she's used a clipping mask here from part of the image of where they were on holiday and the colours and how that could represent the person. As you can see in my example that I made earlier here, I've done pretty much the same thing. I've stuck with rectangles, squares, similar colours just to play around with the contrast and then created nice intersecting lines and played around with the transparency to bring that whole intersection and connection of the person together within the image in Trafalgar Square. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is find an image that's suitable. You might have scanned imagery, perhaps from a holiday, a beach trip, but I just googled fashion shoot and I managed to find one of Victoria Beckham in Trafalgar Square that kind of worked quite nicely. If your image is in colour, then we just need to change, change that to um, black and white so we keep within the whole overall theme. So to do that, just go into image, adjustments, and then black and white, and then it will change it automatically and we can just press OK. It's already in black and white then obviously you can leave that okay and then after you've done that you need to find a color so within mine I'm going to keep it just to a similar theme within our work and find some sort of nice yellow sandy beachy color that will do for me that'll be okay and then just create a new layer here and then using your shapes tool you can choose whichever shape you want I'm going to stick to a rectangle and then I'm just going to draw my shape over the part of the image where I want it to go. Once you're happy, let go. My transparency is set to 74. You can keep it transparent if you want, but I'm just going to increase it so it completely blocks the colour. Using the move tool, I'm just going to move it slightly over. Now I want to create another rectangle here with another colour. So before you create that shape, double click again to change your colour. I'm going to go for a nice orange. That will do. And then you have to create a new layers palette again here, otherwise your image won't appear. Okay, So once you've done that, go over to your shape. I'm going to draw mine over the top so that I know it keeps to the same size. And then just using the move tool, you can drag that over. Just going to lift it, there we go. And zooming in just to make sure that it's okay, I think it is. I'm just going to transform path just to make this section a little bit taller. And there you go. Okay, the next bit that I'm going to do is just create some nice thin intersecting lines. So again, new layer. And then you need to choose your colour. I'm going to stick to the same one, so using the eyedropper tool. Then I can literally just select that colour and you can see that it changes automatically down here. And then using the rectangle, you just create a thin, nice intersecting line. Just about wherever you want. Again, if you want to move it, select the move tool and you can move it into place. And then I'm going to now create another layer. Choose the shape tool and just do another one that's coming up over here. I'm scrolling up and then again, creating a new layer if you want to add another shape using the same tool but then this time I'm going to go back to that colour so using the eyedropper tool just selecting that it's changed it automatically back to my shape tool and then I'm just going to create a nice squared box at this point if you do want to play around with your transparencies you can click on any of your layers to do that but just go up here to opacity and then you can increase it down you can see that parts of the image are starting to come through once you're happy you can leave that and then creating a new palette, I'm just going to create one more line along here to play around with the connection. I'm going to keep it the same colour over here, so clicking on my shape. You can play around with different thicknesses, can make it a little bit thicker just so it's coming in and connecting with that line. There we go, using the move tool, moving it into place. Going to make it slightly a little bit longer so to do that transform path scale if you do need to increase or decrease any of your shape sizes and then pressing return key enter just to complete that zooming out so you can see and then i've created some nice contrast with color shapes and these nice intersections so we get an idea of some thinking what is behind this part of the image and there you have it you've created your own vasilisa forbes inspired image